Welcome to Berkeley in California Memorial Stadium where this crowd has been in since early in the day saying you know it, you tell the story, you tell the whole world that this is fair territory. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Iowa State Cyclones, taking on a team from the ACC, the California Golden Bears. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Golden Bears will kick it away to start. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more run. Trying to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gonna run it. It's Jackson. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. When you go on the road, man, oh, man, do you right. love hearing the crowd. But more importantly, you love shutting the crowd up. There's no better feeling than coming out, getting that juice going, getting that confidence going, and getting that running game going right at him and gashing him right out the gates. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Trying to impose their will with the run. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. And the Cyclones want to pick up the tempo. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. You know, a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. Now on third down after that run. They'll try to run for it. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. And already this guy is leaving his mark on this game. Opening drive, back-to-back -back runs, where he's found a way to get positive yards. He was able to pick up the first on that last carry. They should keep feeding him the football. The more success they have, it's going to open up the play action game. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. 
And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And that play is essentially like a jet sweep, right? This offense is going to run the football conventionally. They'll do it between the tackles. They'll do it outside. But there's a lot of different creative ways they can get their playmakers the football in the running game. And I think that was an example. He got it. They will score. Touchdown, Cyclones. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They march 78 yards down the field, and they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Quickly complete. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Moving out of the pocket. He'll turn it loose out to the right. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. Well, I love the effort by the quarterback here. He extends the play. Nothing open right away. There's a little bit of pressure. He gets to the outside, tries to take a shot down the field, just not on the same page with his intended target. He'll take another shot here. And that ball is picked off. Not much of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. to open the quarter with this first down play. Get set, get set. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Crosses the 45. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. The Cyclones headed quickly to the line. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Got it behind the line. It's Hansen. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now. And if they keep this up, this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. We've reached the two minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. And the Cyclones have it with a first and ten. On the ground, it's Hansen. And they pick up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Dropping back, it's Beck. It's complete! They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. 
This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. I tell you what, sometimes as an OC, you just kind of hold your breath when you're throwing into some of these windows down here near the goal line because they are so small. And you have to be so accurate and decisive but without being aggressive. And, and you could tell the QB really didn't see it, believe it, and trust it. Touchdown, Iowa State! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like, you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to... The pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Offense in a bunch formation. To throw, it's Rodgers. Gonna let it fly. And the pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. He goes out of bounds, but he just about did it himself. What a return after the interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Well, jet sweep pass. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Now on second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Wants to throw on third down. Trying to escape and get it himself. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Just inside the red zone. First and 10 from the 19. He's going to pass. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, Cyclone. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown.
kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. He wants to throw. Teed up and ready to go here in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only way you can look at this if you're on off. Nothing but green ahead. The 30. He flips his field in an instant, and he's got him set up at the 20. How many ways can I get to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, Get it to a burner, going full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big move. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Red 18. Red 18. Wants to pass it. Looking to the big tight end. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Unloads to the wide out. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. Well, there's something you don't see very often. The quarterback overthrowing that guy with his type of speed. There aren't a lot of dudes that have the arm talent to overthrow him. But somehow, we just saw it happen right there. Moving past the 25. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. The Cyclones come to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback checking the play. Scanning the field, it's Beck. He rifles one deep down the right side. And he'll ramble to the 34.
Thank you.